manifestation, my single intention, bring anything that I want into fruition. Yo, it's your boy, me two times in the building, Mr. Get Right to Get Left, and welcome back to another episode of Real Talk with M2X. Nah, welcome back to another episode of Real. Ah, it's hard to say. Welcome back to another episode of Meet Speaks, man. Um, I roll out my window really quickly. I got my boy Spike with me. It's nice today, man. It's 76 degrees out. Spike, quiet. It's 76 degrees out. I'm feeling good. Um, you know, I um, you know, went to the gym today. Woke up. First thing I did was pray. Feeling good, but um, I want to tell y'all what happened with at the gym, man. And it's and it's crazy, but it's funny at the same time. It's like it's so real. But man, when you want retention, when you want retention, man, semen retention, and you retaining your seed, man, the woman, the female attraction is very heightened. Like I said in one of my past videos, a couple of my past videos, but um, basically it's heightened and you're gonna get girls attracted to you and they're trying to get your attraction way more than they would when you're not on, when you're not retaining, man. And I went into a video of like why I feel like it, um, that happens. But I was in the gym today, man, and um, yeah, so I'm in the gym working out, and I'm and I'm already in the gym. Like I'm, I'm probably like this is my third um, workout, but I'm doing shoulders and back today. Well, I'm doing um shoulder presses, overhead shoulder presses with dumbbells, and um I'm doing them in the mirror. So when I come, so when I'm doing them, I see a little Asian, um, this little Asian chick. She walk in, and she's staring like right at me while she's walking now. She's staring right at me. I'm like, dang, like. She must like me or something. But as she walked past, man, and I ain't gonna cat, that's temptation because she had them pants on. And I'm like, ooh, like, you count a little bit my type. You get what I'm saying? Um, But uh, she walked right past and, like, she kind of flaunted it. But I wasn't really paying attention because I'm just like, nah, I'm focusing on my workout. But then she spun the block again like two minutes later walked around the whole gym because mind you she could have got back to me any other way but walked around the whole gym just to get back to me to flaunt it again so i'm like okay i see what you're doing now then i'm just like ah maybe two times maybe she was really just trying to um you know get some but then she come a third time and this time so i'm doing the shoulder pressures right here and there's another seat next to me so she comes into the seat then she goes right back like she wanted to talk to me or something. So she goes right to the seat and then goes to do another workout. I'm like, okay, now, you know, she wants me to talk to her or something like that. But then she do that a couple more times. Like she do, like she, like she's trying to get my attention a couple more times. But what she do next is like, damn, bro, like for real. So I'm still doing um, shoulder workouts, but I'm doing lateral raises this time. And, um. I got the bench up against my chest, so I'm leaning over doing the ladder raises with my um with the top of the bench. It's like it's like got not a 90 degree angle, um, but I got my chin up on it, and I'm looking dead into the mirror. Right? Tell me why she come over, and she either grabs a 30 or 25, but there's like two or three sets of. 30s and 25s she grabs the one all the way on the end right in front of me where i'm working out just staring where i'm working out just staring stands there for a second like her booty all in my face and stuff man and i'm locked because there's a guy next to me and i'm i'm just still standing i'm acting like i'm still looking at the mirror bro but it's like it's her ass in my face so i'm looking to the side now because i'm like yeah i'm not trying to look at her ass or none so i start looking at myself because there's another mirror over here so there's a mirror in the front and a mirror to the side so um i start looking to the side mirror i'm like bro why is she distracting me so she's sitting there for, bro she's probably there for 10 seconds like she picked up one weight then put it back and picked up another weight and then like lifted it up and i'm like bro she knows she got her booty right in my face, bro. Like, dang. This ain't never happened before, mind you. Just nothing like this never happened before. Like, yeah, you may, you know, you may get an occasional girl look at you or something like that or, like, come next to you in the gym. But nothing like this happened before, man. And then, um, before that even happened, that was just one of the most, like, funniest. Or just like, dang, like, that's how you know this is real. Um, and when you're on that journey, it's like, when you're on that journey, 
when you're on this journey of senior attention, they're gonna try and distract you, man. And I knew she wasn't a, oh, I'm getting a little bit dark. Um, I knew she wasn't a woman from God. I mean, you can't really judge a book off a cover, but to me, what she was trying to do was trying to tempt me. You get what I'm saying? And um, I'm I'm really on this serious journey of not just no fat and not watching pornography, but full on celibacy of not having sex, um, and not and removing those lustful thoughts from my um, you know, from my from my head because God said. If you even look at a woman and think a lustful thought, you already committed adultery. So I'm trying to remove myself from those situations. But she came right in front of me. It's like, dang, you're trying to distract me, man. Cause I'm, you see, I'm doing something good for myself. I'm working out, locked in. I'm there first. I was focused. Boom, she come, face full of booty, bro. And I was not staring at it, man. I did do a quick glance, but I'm not. I'm human. I'm not perfect, bro. Like. Of course, she came right in front of me, so I'm gonna look. She came right in front of me, man. But I didn't stare at it and think, yeah, I'm gonna, I hit it, and you know, so I'm removing them thoughts from my head and um, not thinking sexual or perverted, man. But um, yeah, it was just weird. And then um, before even that situation, like I said, that was just one of the more like funny situations. But before that, there was two girls and um. Bro, there's like four or five sets of places you can get weights that are all the same size. So I think they were grabbing from like the 20s and the 15s. But there's so many places in the gym you can grab that. So I'm working out and they come over in their yoga pants too. Stand there for like 10 seconds deciding which weight to get. Not saying they strictly doing that for me, but it's just like then they kept coming back. And then when I'm working out, I noticed them in the mirror. Cause I'm looking in the mirror to my left. I notice them in the mirror and they're staring me down, bruh. They are staring me down and I'm like, bruh, this, you can't make this up, bruh. You cannot make this up. But yeah, man, I just wanted to hop on here and let y'all know like, like this is gonna happen to you when you're on that journey. And this is not just for semen retention. You're gonna get distractions and temptations from the enemy one year, once you're trying to quit a bad habit, a vice, an addiction, or a sin. You get what I'm saying? Like I said, when I was trying, when I was trying to quit smoking weed, bro, they were sending me free weed products out of nowhere. They sent me free. I got free weed products. Um, I was around friends, and my sister would always ask me, "Do I want to hit the front or something like that?" And it was like that's that temptation. So it, it, it not only goes for lust and fornication and pornography, man, it also goes for other sins as well. You're gonna be tempted, but it's your job because you have that free will. God gave us free will and you have to pray on, um, you know, having the, having the discipline to say no, you know, or else you're just gonna be stuck in that loop. Because that was a lot of temptation. I could have, you know, easily fell into them thoughts like, dang, like imagine her on me or something like that, you get what I'm saying? But I was there in the gym for a reason. I was focused, man. And I can't, and the, and the one thing I can't do is I can't blame women for doing that um, because at the end of the day, that's putting myself into a victim mentality. And um, you know, you can't do that. You control in your life. Focus on the things that you can control in your life. I couldn't control her walking over and putting her butt in my face, but I could control me looking and I could control my intrusive thoughts. You get what I'm saying? So, um, you know, like Andrew Tate said, he said, if it's raining outside, that doesn't mean you have to get wet. You can control if you go outside or you can control if you have a umbrella or you can control to go outside with nothing and then choose to get wet. So everything in your life, you have full control over so i just want you to remember that man and don't fall victim into whatever you're trying to um overcome man but yeah man if you if you got a similar story with any addiction not just semen retention or even semen retention man just drop it down in the comments below man um let me know if you like the new name meech speaks or should i change it back to real talk with m2x or m2x talks man there's another youtuber on, on youtube named meech speaks so i don't really want to you know conjoin the two or mess up what he got going on in his algorithm um so just let me know what y'all think in the comments below man i love y'all um stay motivated stay grinding stay on your purpose and stay disciplined man that's the only way you're gonna overcome things man with that being said man i love y'all i love each and every one of y'all and i'll catch you on the next video man gang